Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video, what we are going to do is we are going to be talking about the brand new standby mode in iOS 17. I'm going to show you all the customization available and also how to activate the standby mode in the settings on your iPhone. So this one here is one screen. This is the clock. It is fully customizable. Then this one over here is the photo album standby mode. It is also customizable. And then if I swipe over one more time, we have the widget view. We have one widget on this side and then one widget on this side, as you can see. So let's dive in and get started. First, let me show you how to activate it and then let's dive in into the customization. Now the standby mode on iOS 17 is going to be inside the settings. Okay, let me just cancel that. And when I scroll down just a little bit, you are gonna see the brand new standby mode. And what you can do is you can enable the standby mode and you also have the standby night mode that I'm gonna show you in a little bit. The night mode allows you to have a red tint when the ambient lighting is low, which looks really cool. So let's dive in. Now for the standby mode to activate itself, it does have to be in landscape orientation and it does have to be connected to power. So in this case, it is a wired connection, but if you have a wireless stand, that is also gonna activate the standby mode. Now in this case, basically, as soon as I turn off the phone, it is just gonna activate automatically because it is in the right position. And also we have the power uh, plugged into it. So let's take a look at this first screen. Number one, what we can do is, this is a two-sided screen both sides have its own widgets you can scroll through and also edit so look i can scroll through all these widgets calendar the weather the music player a clock icon all this stuff is customizable what you want to do is you want to customize the one on this side you press and hold on this side of the screen it's going to ask you to show your face id or enter your passcode to activate it just detected my face, so we are in here. Now you can see, I can scroll through the existing widgets, or I can tap on plus here, and I can add additional widgets on this side of the widget area. Tap on plus, you can see I have photos and all that stuff, I can go to batteries. These are all my battery widgets, I can just tap to add inside this area. I can tap again, uh, clocks. Okay, so you can see I have all these clocks. I can in fact add into my widget. So let's do this one right here, add, okay? And then when I'm done, I tap on done. I can also turn on widget suggestions. If you want intelligent suggestions, just pop up for you, or you can do it manually as I'm doing it. Tap on done. So that's this side. So all the widgets I've added appear right here. I can scroll through. I can do the same thing for this side. So press and hold on this side and we get the editing screen on this side as well. Again, I can tap on plus and I can go into my widgets and I can add specific widgets into that area as you can see. And again, what I can do is I can do whatever I want. So either widget on either side in this mode. Now the other mode that we have, if I swipe over, this is my gallery standby mode. What I can do, is I can press and hold, and I can actually have different albums that I can add over here as I desire. You can see, all you do is you tap on plus, you access all your albums, and you can add them as you please, and then you can swipe up and down like this. And basically when you're over here, if you want to see the other photo album, you just swipe up like this, it'll go to the other one that you chose. Uh, it gives you the location, the date that photo was taken, the time right here, and the photo in the background. Same with this situation. And you can see there's a little movement in the actual photo. It gives you a little slight zoom in effect sometimes. Because this is a beta right now, it is not working perfectly, but you can see it has been zooming in on that photo very slightly, and you, it's also gonna switch photos inside that album randomly of course, this is a beta, so it is not up to, it's not working perfectly. So the final one that we have is on this side right here. This is the simple clock standby mode. Look what you can do. You can swipe up and down to go through different available clock options, okay? 
And what you can also do is this side is all together, okay? This is all one. Press and hold, okay? Gotta show your face, unlocks it, and you can see we can do the same thing through here, okay? So this is absolutely fantastic. Now there is one more feature in relation to the standby mode. I'm gonna activate that. I'm gonna try to activate it right now. I'm gonna turn off the light, see what happens. It's supposed to turn into a reddish uh, thing. So let me turn off the light, tap on the screen to activate that. And you can see if it's nighttime, it is going to transform into this red background design, which is gonna be easy on the eyes. Again, this is also an option you can enable from the settings. Okay, so back at the settings, we have the night mode enabled. So this is how you activate that mode. If you have this turned off, it is not gonna work. If you have it turned on, it is going to work automatically when the lights get turned off, it just activates by default. I'm sure they'll be adding more and more stuff. And also I would like something like this to appear on Samsung Galaxy smartphones as well so it can use the phone at nighttime as a night clock, or you can also have this on your desk while you're working and charging the phone. All right, so that's it. Any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right?